Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about torque, which is also called something like moment of force. First of all, where do we need this torque or moment of force? Let us try to understand. This is the physical quantity required to turn a body, to produce a rotation in a body. It is similar to that of a force which produces a translatory motion in a body. So to rotate a body about a given axis, it cannot rotate itself because it is having its own opposition to the rotation. It is measured in terms of moment of inertia. So to overcome the moment of inertia, we need to apply torque. So let us try writing what do we mean by torque first of all. Say for example, there's a body like this. Fix it to this. And here you have applied a force. Let me call this distance as this point as well, this distance as A. Because now you have applied a force, it is tend to turn in the direction of applied force. Then I can write torque as applied force into perpendicular distance. From the action of the force to the rigid support. So in this case, torque from with the tau, which is also being named as the actual meaning of that is something like turning effect. Torque means turning effect. Applied force is F. It's rotating about the point O. Force applied is A. So force into the perpendicular distance becomes torque. But practically, it may not be this much simple. If suppose the force is not applied this way, but applied in a little complicated way. Let us try understand what's the meaning of that. So, let us just see a little more practical angle here, right? So, let us consider a coordinate system. This is the origin and we have a body at a particular point at a distance, a distance r, we have a body at point p. Now I want to rotate this body. The first thing that we need to understand is, if I have to rotate the body, I cannot apply a force like this. Have you noticed? If I apply a force like this, it will try to produce translatory motion. It will try to produce translatory motion. Either it will be successful in producing a translatory motion or the body will be there at the point P itself. But the force applied along the line will never be able to produce a rotational motion. Now I want to rotate the body, so applying the force in this direction shall not be done. We shall be applying the force at a certain angle. So let us say now therefore we are applying the force this way. which can produce a turning effect. So I am applying the force like this. So with the original direction, let us say I am applying the force with an angle theta. This also becomes an angle theta. Now it will turn the body. Obviously turn the body in this direction. I want to calculate the turning effect. Turning effect is applied force into the perpendicular distance from the fixed point. It is obvious that this r is not the perpendicular distance. It is not perpendicular. So where is the perpendicular distance? Is? I shall draw a line which makes an angle 90 degree. Right? So this x 
is the perpendicular distance. So what's the formula for the torque is obviously? In this case, applied force into perpendicular distance x. But I don't know that x, I know only r. So there's a right angle triangle, let me call something like OPQ. So in the right angle triangle OPQ, I can write sin theta is nothing but equal to x by r. That implies x is nothing but equal to r sin theta. That implies I can write an equation for the torque as f into x in the place of x. I can write r sin theta. That's what's the mathematical equation for the torque. Tau is nothing but equal to f r sin theta. You know there is a definition in vectors like a cross b is nothing but equal to a b sin theta. Basing on that I can write torque is nothing but cross product of two vectors, radius vector and a force vector. Being a cross product it is obvious that torque is also a vector. Then how do you find the direction of this vector? We can use a rule something like a corkscrew rule or a right hand thumb rule. Both are same. What does this corkscrew rule says? Let us take a screw with head like this. So screws are like this. Let us say this is the direction of R, this is the direction of F. I want R cross F. Therefore, I have to rotate the head of the screw from R to F like this. And it is obvious that this needle tip will be moving in the perpendicular plane in the upward direction. That will give you the direction of torque, which tells you that torque is perpendicular to both R bar as well as F bar. Torque exists in a perpendicular plane of both R and F. That way we can find a direction. So how do you find a cross product of two vectors? We can use a kind of a mathematical matrix determinant to find the cross product of two vectors. You must have learned it in mathematics, but I will tell you anyway. So I have to write determinant. The first column will be I, J, K, R cross F, R X, R Y, R Z has to be written, F X, F Y, and F Z has to be written, and this cross product has to be identified. Hopefully, you know how to find out the determinant of this vector. If you are not actually familiar, please go to the vectors video lesson. I have discussed this. There are a detailed equation for determining the cross product of any of the two vectors. I am not doing it now because we have already done it in the say vectors video lesson. Please go through that. Right? Thank you for watching. Torque means turning effect, which is also called like moment of force because whenever you say moment of, you mean to say it is a product of distance. Of force means product of distance with respect to the force. This is the physical quantity which decides whether the body is going to turn or not, whether the applied torque is sufficient to overcome the moment of inertia or not. That's it. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.